Scientists are jumping for joy after finding a giant planet 325 light years away, but they're unable to explain how it manages to exist in a place where no planet is supposed to exist. Here are the details. A study published in Nature showed evidence of a giant planet where no planet was supposed to be able to exist. Researchers studied images taken by the European Southern Observatory in Chile and found that the massive binary star system B Centauri is the host of a gas giant that is likely similar in composition to Jupiter but 11 times more massive, which makes it around 3,180 times heavier than Earth. The massive planet is 325 light years from Earth and orbits its binary star at a distance 14 times the distance from the Sun to Pluto. The two star system itself is between 6 and 10 times heavier than our Sun, which means it produces so much heat and radiation that it should be impossible for the newly found planet to have formed. Stars like these are generally considered to be too destructive and dangerous to allow planet formation. Yet, scientists can clearly see that the planet does exist. The study's researchers theorize the massive distance at which the planet orbits the dangerous two-star system is the key to how it managed to survive. One thing is for sure, though, the new planet's unlikely existence is upending lots of things astrophysicists thought they knew about the universe. A hell-like planet discovered in 2016 is even hotter than we thought. Here's what you need to know. About 640 light-years from Earth, an ultra-hot Jupiter, a gas giant with an orbital period less than 10 days, may be even hotter than scientists realized, according to a new study in the Astrophysical Journal Letters, cited by Space.com. Previous studies have noted that WASP-76b sits close enough to its star to complete an orbit every 1.8 Earth days, and is tidally locked, meaning its nightside temperature could be around 1,300 degrees Celsius and its dayside may be around 2,400 degrees. One effect of the extreme proximity is that the huge amounts of stellar radiation that WASP-76b absorbs has blown it up to 1.85 times wider than Jupiter despite the fact it carries just 85% of Jupiter's mass. However, famously, a second effect is that temperatures on the day side of the planet are hot enough to vaporize iron, and this iron condenses once it reaches the cooler night side, falling as molten iron rain. The new study adds to this hellish picture with the discovery of ionized calcium in WASP-76b's upper atmosphere, with its lead author explaining in a statement on Queen's University Belfast website that this could indicate that the exoplanet has very strong upper atmosphere winds, or the atmospheric temperature on the exoplanet is much higher than we thought. This discovery leads to a wider point, according to one of the study's co-authors, as we do remote sensing of dozens of exoplanets spanning a range of masses and temperatures, we will develop a more complete picture of the true diversity of alien worlds, from those hot enough to harbor iron rain to others with more moderate climates, from those heftier than Jupiter to others not much bigger than the Earth," he said. Another similarly hellish example of that process in action came earlier this year when a super-Earth orbiting a red dwarf star was discovered only 36 light-years from Earth, according to a study published in the Astronomy and Astrophysics Journal. In a February 18th preprint version of the study available on the archive server, that planet's temperature was estimated to be around 556 degrees Celsius, which is obviously a lot less than WASP-76b, but still pretty hot. Known as GJ740b, it has a mass believed to be around 3 times that of Earth and a radius 1.4 times that of Earth's. This would make it only slightly smaller than Neptune, but much, much smaller than WASP-76b. More similarly to WASP-76b, GJ740b orbits its star, known as GJ740, in just 2.4 days, but its mass and orbital period suggest it is a rocky planet. But as WASP-76b shows, it's not just about discovering that these planets exist, it's also about figuring out what's going on inside and on top of them. Scientists have found two exoplanets orbiting a red dwarf around 120 light-years from Earth, including a super-Earth. The research, published in Astronomy and Astrophysics, notes that exoplanets TOI-1266b and TOI-1266c are so close to their star that it takes them just 11 days and 19 days to orbit it. The inner planet TOI-1266b is considered a sub-Neptune as it measures around 2.5 times the Earth's diameter. The outer planet, TOI-1266c, is just over 1.5 times the size of our planet, landing it in the super-Earth category. 
Both TOI-1266b and C have similar temperatures and are believed to be of similar densities and are comprised of about half of rocky and metallic material and half water, the researchers suggested. This makes them half as rocky as Earth or Venus, but much more rocky than Neptune or Uranus. Their host star, TOI-1266, is a red dwarf. Red dwarfs are the smallest and coolest kind of star, which the researchers note could allow for liquid water to exist even on planets that orbit quite close to them. The outer planet has a temperature similar to that of Venus, even though it is seven times closer to its star than Venus is to our Sun. The researchers were led by scientists from the University of Bern and the University of Geneva and used the St. X Observatory at the National Astronomical Observatory of Mexico. A press release on the discovery from the University of Bern mentions that the scientists completed their observations shortly before the COVID-19-related lockdown in Mexico. The St. X Observatory remains closed, although scientists hope to resume operations in the next few months. Since its launch in December 2019, Europe's KEPS Space Telescope has gathered some very interesting information about a very strange planet far outside our solar system. The KEPS Space Telescope is basically a satellite that orbits 700 kilometers above Earth and it's packed with sensitive optical equipment. The first extrasolar planet that KEPS has focused on is called WASP-189b. This planet was first detected in 2018. It's a gas giant like Jupiter and is situated 322 light years away. That's more than 3,000 trillion kilometers from Earth. KEPS found that WASP-189b is about 22,400 kilometers in diameter. That's almost 18 times larger than Earth and 1.6 times larger than Jupiter. At the same time, this large planet orbits much closer to its star. Where it takes Earth 365 days to orbit our Sun, this faraway planet takes only 2.7 Earth days to orbit its huge star. The star around which this exoplanet orbits is bigger and hotter than Earth's Sun. In fact, the star burns so hot that it looks blue. It is 2.4 times bigger and 2,000 degrees Celsius hotter than Earth's Sun. KEPS also found that the exoplanet's blue star is visibly wider around its equator. That's because it spins so fast that it's being pulled to the outside around its equator. So the star looks a bit oval. The star's poles are also hotter than its cooler equator. Now add the fact that WASP-189b orbits 20 times closer to its hot star than Earth orbits to our cooler Sun, and you can understand why the exoplanet is so incredibly hot. At a surface temperature of 3,200 degrees Celsius, even iron turns to gas on this planet. That's why scientists call it an ultra-hot Jupiter. Hot Jupiters are giant gas planets like Jupiter, but they orbit very close to their stars, making them extremely hot. Another thing that makes this exoplanet very different from the planets in our solar system is the fact that it does not rotate around its star's equator. Instead, its orbit is so extremely tilted that it passes close to the star's poles. Scientists think this must be because the gravity of other planets or stars pulled the planet into its strange orbit. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.